Okay, the next one is the risk per trade in percentage. So this allows you to set your desired risk in percentage. For example, like 2% per trade, yeah? So client EA will use the size of the client account and the stop loss of each trade to calculate a proper lot size so that if the trade hits the stop loss, it will lose no more than 2%. Obviously, some deviation is possible, yeah, but it will be like roughly 2%. In this mode, the client EA ignores differences in account sizes or leverage differences. And MMV, well, you use the MMV parameters to set your desired risk in percentage. So in this case, you would set like 2 in MMV, yeah. Now, let me give you a simple example of how the risk per trade in percentage works. So let's take an example that if we set the MMV to 5%, it means the client EA will always calculate the lot size accordingly so that if the trade hits the stop loss, it will lose no more than 5%. Well, roughly 5%, I would say, yeah, because there might be like slippages and stuff, but it, it will be like roughly 5%. So client EA will use client account size and the stop loss to calculate the proper lot size for that. It's very important to mention that when client EA is using this mode, uh, it will copy trades from master account only when they have a stop loss set. If there is no stop loss set on the trade on the master side, then the client EA will just delay such trades. It won't copy them until they get a stop loss. In this operational mode, if the master trades, you know, like kind of never get a stop loss set and then get closed, they never make it to the client account. This is very important to understand because some people set, you know, choose this money management mode and then they come to our, you know, customer support and say, oh, client ES doesn't, doesn't copy the trades, you know, uh, but it, it should have a stop loss because if there is no stop loss, then it's impossible to calculate the risk per trade of 5%, like what kind of lot size it should be. You know, when we know the stop loss, it's like 50 pips, 10 pips or whatever it is, then we fill in the formula, do the calculations, get the lot size. Without a stop loss, it's just not possible. Yeah. Okay, so... Some more things about the risk percentage, yeah? So if master trades uh, it gets a stop loss set, for example, after 20 seconds, when it got opened, like you open uh, a trade on the master account and the set stop loss only after 20 seconds, you know, the client EA will copy this trade only after it detects the stop loss on the trade which means there will be a delay of at least 20 seconds. Yeah, So if there was no stop loss in the master trade for 20 seconds, it means the client TA did not even bother copying it. Yeah, And once it detected that stop loss after 20 seconds, it will copy the trade. So after the trade is copied and the stop loss is removed from the master trade, if that happens, yeah, the client TA will remove the stop loss too but the trade will obviously remain open until it you know, remains open on the master account. In such case, um, it's important to note that the trade is no longer risking the same percentage you choose with the MMV parameter as it's no longer had a stop loss, yeah? So if you choose a 5% and you, you know, master removes uh, the stop loss later, so it means there's no like clear where, where the trade will be closed yeah so the same would be true if the stop loss guess gets set to a higher or a smaller value yeah, on the master account Clyde EA would copy those stop loss changes accordingly to the risk in percentage would change of course as well so if you change the stop loss or remove it on the master this will kind of changes the percentage in the risk on the client account 